We just left our mooring and we're heading off for the day. Looks like we're going past a World War II pillbox here, but no, it's not. It's just the remnants of an old bridge. Oh well. What? A pub, but too early. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. We did consider leaving later, but then we thought, no, we've really got to make some miles. So, bye bye pub. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's the Hope and Anchor. It's a little uh, three-er. <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? <laughs> Hills Bridge number 20. We're at a boat yard, LR Harris. Look at that lovely old building with the interesting windows. Check out this jetty. How cool is that? And then we've got a little honey pot. A three -er. Oh, look at that. It's quite squeezy to get in there. A lot of one-legged things. Coming up to a lock, but um, it's already full. It's very busy at this lock this morning. Watch out for rain and share your umbrella. Junction lock. In the middle of the countryside. A bit of a vicious one, this one. Jesus. Here she comes. Birdhouse over there somewhere. Another birdhouse. What's that, Magnus? Looks like it's part of a section from the old bridge. people here. Bit of a queue. That's nice, makes change. We're getting sucked into the weir. We're getting very close to the bridge. Sucking us in. <laughs> Good job we can't fit under there. You like Wetlands are everywhere around here. This is next to the lock. to the lock. Waiting for the lock. Whoop. I'm a cranker back, a pink one. Looks like we're going to double up. Woohoo! These are lovely little um, moorings with pointy bits so the bow can go in. And then they've got a deck. It's pretty clever. We yeah. thought we were on the river before, but in actual fact, we we're on a canal, so now we're on the river saw which is much wider. We're up to yeah. another lock. It's a busy little spot. Oh, we went past a jumble, didn't we? Or bumble, and there's a rumble and a jumble. What's there? A little chandlery with rope and paint and fittings and all sorts of stuff. Magic little spot. in up ahead. Yeah, it's got a registration number. That is a boat. Registration number looks like a house number. It's beautiful. That is the most beautiful boat I've seen on the canals, on the river system, on the waterways. It's most definitely a houseboat. That is awesome. 
So is this a basin? Yeah, water side in. Is it a mooring? Oh, there's loads of room. We can yeah. easily fit on there. Right, we're going to go in for a point. Five forty, pretty please. Alright, we're here at the Waterside Inn in Mount Sorrel, is it? Or Sorrel Hill or Dunno. somewhere Sorrel. And we were heading for the navigation up at Barrow upon Saw, but we had a tip that they don't have any real ale left, so we thought we'd better pop in here and have one mm. on the way. Um, so that's not a tiger, even though it says tiger. It's a Beacon Hill. Um, I don't think I've had it before. I like the colour of it. It's very coppery, so we'll give it a crack. Mm. I didn't think you could get worse than Tiger. <laughs> oh. I wish I'd got Wendy's now. The, the Citra Hop is a hop I really like, and that's what Wendy's got. For a swap? No, apparently Citra Hop's used in Pale Ale quite a lot. But anyway, just I'm just going to give this a quick number. Oh yeah. What did I give the Tiger a two? This is a four. One, a four, four and a half Tiger. All right, this is a two then. Ooh, that's harsh, babe. Taste it. I did. <laughs> you didn't that's why I got this me. one. Oh. <laughs> anyway. All right, I've got a little more Citra. Very hoppy. Very zesty. It's not as nice as the other citra I had. When was it yesterday? Mm. But it's still a really smooth little ale. Probably about a six. Cheers. Six. Wow. You're getting really picky in your scoring. Taste that one compared to the one I had yesterday. The one I had yesterday was divine. It's got oh, not the as smell. not as much flavour, and it's. It's bitter. The other one wasn't. Oh no, the other one was much better. That's yeah, yeah. a six. Yeah. yeah. See? There you go. Cheers. So, oh. yeah, um, I'll waffle on a bit more. <laughs> We're here at Mount Sorrel Lock. It's lockdown number 50 on the Leicester arm of the Grand Union. Um, I think we hit back on, oh, we've just been on the Saw River Saw, and now we get back on a canal system mm. again. We're sort of on and off the River yeah. Saw for the last day or so. Um, and we're looking forward to getting back onto the canal because the river's nice and pretty and stuff but it's so wide it, it doesn't have that, as that sort of what do you think that canal boat sort of charm it's just it? different it's different it's it's vistas whereas the canals are like cute yeah so we're yeah. looking forward to a bit of cute again cute. Um, we've been passing lots of boats today it's very, very busy very busy day I don't know if it's school holidays or what are mm. these, but higher boats, lots of higher We passed boats. more boats today than when passed all week, I think. Mm. Um, and we've been locking through locks with boats, and mm. it's been lovely. Met mm. some really nice people. Um, I've got a good. I'm, I'm growing this boy, bad boy, out to to get the handlebars going, or to get the twirls. So I just met this fella up there. Um, had a long chat with him. <laughs> And he told me the secret to a good moustache. So watch this space. <laughs> okay. See you later. See ya. Bye bye. That's the pub done and dusted. G'day. Here we are at the navigation. Just going for a pint with Mike. So they've run out of beer. You're gonna go for a walk down the track a bit. So we're just walking along here with with Mike. Mike uh, is one of our viewers, and um, he's gonna come and have a beer with us. So. 
Where did we go first, Wayne? Went to the navigation. How'd we go? No beer. No, they've... Devastated. Pub, pub with no beer, there's an Australian song about that. Yes. Um, so, we're going to try the next one. So here we are, the boathouse. <laughs> are we going in here? We are. Alright, we're going in here for a beer. Give it a try. Broadcast this way. Yes, of <laughs> course. Not live, not live. If this isn't on. Oh, it is on. Yeah, not it's live. It's on. No, 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 this isn't live, don't worry. No, do? I know, I know you're not doing it live. What we have I got here? You? Um, you got Vixen. Vixen See, somebody right. remembers Vixen. the names of the Yeah, beers. I forget. Am I going first? No, I really can't remember what it is. A bass. It's a bass. From which Mike brewery? knows what it is. Bass See? Mile. Bass he Mile, there you go. It. Bass, bass Mile. Alright, oh wait, okay. So I've got a Bass Mild. I'll put the label up. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's very cold. Is it? The glass is cold, yeah. It's a bit cold, so it hasn't got a whole lot going on in there because it's cold, so I don't think it's fair to really judge it. It's, um, you can't tell, can't taste it. Can I taste? Yep. I'm just going to try it. <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit cold. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll pass that and give it another go another day. All right. So we've got a, um, a Vixen here, and we're just going to give that a quick go. It's a fairly light, light coloured beer. Oh yeah, that's 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 not bad. That's that's got a fair bit of flavour. Just the right temperature, and um, it's up there with an eight, eight and a half. So cheers. Oh. Right, so Wendy reviewed that last beer and thought it was a little bit on the chilly side. So the publican overheard us. And yes. all right, you tell the rest of the story. No, then. you tell it. Yes. He overheard us and he said, um, I've just tested the beers and they are actually a little bit on the warm side. So he's going to have to adjust his, his temperatures. And he gave Wendy a gift, a little thermometer. So now we're just going to go and check out the Timothy Taylor's see landlord it's right. and see whether it's served at the correct temperature. Ready? It's got to be between 11 and 13. Yes. According to the cast mark. And we'll see if he's... He did say he was running a bit warm. Yeah. I'll just zoom in on that. Put that back Right. 14.3. We're going to go ahead. 14.2. 14.3. Oh, but he did say he had them a bit warm, so he's adjusted them. So, there you go, Wen. There we go. So that'll do. The cellar temperature is correct. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> and let's get our first review on... <laughs> Wendy. I don't Timothy? think Wendy's ever done I a Timothy Taylor. Timothy Taylor's? Yeah, Timothy correct. Taylor's landlord. Yeah. No, I've got some. Yeah, I like that. That's um, it's better tasty. I'd say about eight and a half. Right, let's see what Mike reckons about this one. It's lovely. Well, it's a bit cold than the last one, but uh, still okay. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice beer, that. I'd probably say it's about the same as the. Uh, the Vixen. I'd probably give that an 8 as well. There you go. Well, yeah. All round so far, it's been good. I've already reviewed it, so I won't. And you always say it's an 8, so we're, yeah. we're pretty well on bar, aren't we? Thank you. Yeah. So, up the spout, <laughs> Colin, the publican here, the landlord, um, kindly gave us this thermometer and a long speech about temperatures of real ales and cask mark and bits and pieces. So. We've just had a check of the beer temperatures. What's yours, Wen? 14.2. Wendy's was 14.2. Mine was 12.1. And Mike's was 8.9. We triple checked it. Mike's glass is full of condensation. We'll just show you right here. Give that around. Zoom in. And that, you can write your name on that glass. Wendy's glass. Mine's is all right because it's cold, sort of within the Very cold to touch that, and mine's freezing. <laughs> so, so, so if you're ever at the um, boathouse, boathouse in Barrow Ponsor, 
you have a little chat to Colin? <laughs> and, um, it'll give you a free thermometer. It'll give, you, <laughs> it'll give you a free thermometer to check your own freezing cold beers with. But anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just having a bit of fun. Um, we've got our thermometer and we're using it. <laughs> Cheers. The morning, there comes an evening. After evening, another day. Best horse I've ever seen. Is he a Shetland or is he a horse? There's a pony. Hello, sweetie. He's tiny. Oh, you couldn't ride him. That thing over there. That's a llama, alpaca, a llama. He's Sean. Llama. He's been Sean. Had his head up a minute ago. Gosh, that neck's so long. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Coming back from the pub. He wants our curry. Actually, we've got a curry. We got there was a takeaway restaurant opposite the pub, and it was either. Take away curry or pork on the barbecue and curry one. He's got fluffy hair. He's very oh, here fluffy. Here comes the thingo. They won't look come at, up. They spit at you. Look at he's got a fluffy thing on top of his head. Gosh, they're funny looking. Looking charming in the evening. This is a wonderful facility for the kids. They've got all sorts of craft, water craft. Hi everybody. <laughs> Start again. Why? Because I wasn't ready. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hello everybody. Start again here. One, two, oh, three. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. You go first then. No, no, you. I've first. gone first twice. All right. Get out. Hello everybody. <laughs> How's it going? Hi everybody. Well, we have just clicked. I just checked the had a look on the website and we've just gone um, 3,000 subscribers. Yeah. Wow. So just a quick little thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, it's I know I say this all the time, but we are a little bit overwhelmed at, at how interested everyone is in our little part of the world. Yep. Um, we, yeah, it's just unreal. So big thanks, 3,000. Unbelievable and amazing, um, and thank you. So, thank you everybody for yeah. subscribing. Thank you everybody for commenting. Thank you for the, for watching. Thank you to patrons for all that they do too. Um, yeah, yeah, just thank, thank you. you. Um, it's unreal, mm. and I love the comments. Um, yeah, <laughs> it beats watching telly. Just yeah. conversing and chatting with all you people. Um, and like we always say, if you're walking past. Drop in, have a cup of tea, have a beer, and say good day. Yeah. Or if you see us on the cut, you know, we're always happy to stop and have a chat. I love having a chat. <laughs> All right. Anyway, catch you later. See ya. See ya. Bye. -bye.